Families, veterans, and Madera County leaders honor the men and women who died in the historic attack on the U.S. 81 years ago today. Action News anchor Brittany Jacob is live now in the studio with more about today's ceremony for Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, the day that shocked America and changed the world. Brittany? Lauren, this morning the VFW Post 5057 joined with Tesoro Viejo in Madera County to present a ceremony honoring those who served and pay the ultimate sacrifice. It was called the Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, coinciding with the date and the time of the first attack by Japanese planes. And today, that message was one of sacrifice, unity, and perseverance. The Madera community, students, and veterans all came together to honor and remember the 2,400 Americans killed during the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, thrusting the United States into World War II. The ceremony was held at the Tesoro Viejo Town Center Wednesday morning. Who is more important to our country than our veterans? One of the veterans in the audience, Vernon Schmidt, he remembers Pearl Harbor. He was 15 years old and heard the news on a grocery store radio. Three years later, he was drafted and served in World War II in the 90th Infantry Division. It all happened real quick. I Two weeks from leaving the United States, I was on the front lines fighting. But many of us, I believe, owe our being here today to those people who are on their knees, intercessing and asking God to bring us home. Let's make a vow to reach out into our community. Madera County District Attorney Sally Moreno was the keynote speaker. She spoke about the adversity this nation has faced. Moreno tells me after Pearl Harbor and September 11th, we thought of attacks on our nation coming from outside. She says our threats now come from inside. And now I think adversity is more inside of our own hearts as we um, we don't listen to each other. We don't look out for each other. So we need to have that that internal battle um, so that we can come back together as a nation. The event concluded with the eight bills ceremony, which marks the passing of a sailor. Along with the performance of God Bless America and a 21 gun salute. In the audience, students from Hillside Elementary taking in the experience to honor those who paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. We're raising the next generation of citizens who, who need to be aware that, that we have vulnerabilities and that we, we, there's conflict and you know, there's, there's times of war and, and what that means in the end. Day 81 years ago, 2,403 service members lost their life and more than 1,100 were wounded. For many stories here in the Central Valley related to Pearl Harbor, you can visit ABC30.com. Live in the studio, Brittany Jacob, ABC30 Action News.